All right, everybody, welcome back for another video of Virtual Warfare, a text-based roleplay fighting tutorial series. And today's video is going to be about returning the physical back to the soul, as in plane walking and uh, dematerializing your physical body to be completely spiritual and travel in a spiritual world. So this is what this lesson is going to be about today. Uh, this is lesson 20. It's been a long time since I did lesson videos. I've been doing other videos because one, they're easy. Uh, it don't take a lot of work to do. And also, uh, I'm running out of lessons for this season. So next season, uh, surprisingly, it's going to be season five. And um, season five, I'm going to talk about the last part of virtual warfare, which is the pataphysical part and it's the last part for virtual warfare and there will be no more lessons as far as uh, combat lessons for virtual warfare so without further ado let's get on to the video now through a metaphysical understanding players will have the ability to return back to the soul and travel dwell and fight in an interdimensional plane or a spiritual plane like the astral plane etc many people believe that consciousness only exists in the brain that it only exists through a network of neurons that when we die you will cease to exist along with wavelengths of your consciousness by some popular beliefs however consciousness exists outside of the physical realm or the brain as to say when a person dies the power of their consciousness will continue to exist even for eternity through this understanding, players will be able to raise the level of their conscious awareness and perceive life from that which is not physical. This will allow them to continue to exist personally, as in keeping a personality, memories, desire, and interest, while the physical body no longer exists through whatever means. Through this concept, players will be able to simulate powers such as teleportation, disappearing, which we will talk about next and plane walking and other metaphysical techniques that involve raising the consciousness. First, we will discuss the procedures to simulate the technique of plane walking. Plane walking is when players strictly use the metaphysical plane as a means of travel. This trait is very rarely done because of two things. One, because it can be considered as a form of disappearing, which is illegal in many rule sets. It can also simulate forms of intangibility and or invincibility which is illegal, but to a certain degree. And two, because the mechanics of how to achieve this technique without auto and god mode is not yet known or isn't implemented when attempting to perform such a feat, which makes the ability rarely seen because it is often poorly executed because again, the proper mechanics of how to perform such an ability has not been revealed. There may be different styles and ways to perform this technique, but because virtual warfare focuses on a step-by-step -step process to implement techniques instead of just saying activate my ability a simulation of time and energy to give the opponent equal and fair opportunity to start the procedure between any step is provided presenting an utmost legitimacy of the attack first the player must raise their awareness to dwell in a realm which is higher than the physical realm this will help correlate with the second step which is breaking down the physical body when the consciousness is on a higher plane than the physical, and the physical body is broken down, the consciousness of that character will be immediately aware of their surroundings without passing through any stages, such as the momentarily theme of darkness that occurs when someone dies with an awareness of the physical world, such as what happens when practitioners have out-of-body experiences or actual projections. Briefly explain, speaking from experience, when someone actually projects, they do not fall asleep. They are aware of the physical world, but become aware of the spiritual world, the astral plane, without losing awareness of the physical world, as they are able to still feel their physical body while being aware of the metaphysical. When performing this technique in RP, this is exactly what happens. However, because characters are supernatural, more can be done through this concept, which will lead us to our next step after traveling in our new form, breaking down the body. Once a character has broken down their physical body, they will be able to travel through the spiritual realms completely as a spirit, 
following the dynamics of the spiritual realm, which are still bound by time and space, but not in the form as the physical reality is. As stated during the travel, players can still enable their characters with a sense of the physical world. Thus, when a player finally reaches their desired destination for their character, they will be able to snap back or reconstruct the physicality of their character and completely return to the physical world, senses and all. This will complete the plane walking technique. Now, players are allowed to carry out the dynamics of these steps however they choose, of course within a logical means, but these steps must be issued to perform this technique or it will be considered as an auto. These step by step processes allow an opportunity for the opponent to keep the character from focusing, raising their conscious, send interrupting surges to stop and break down the physical body, provide a chance to see and or stop the traveling within the spiritual world and or gives the opportunity for their opponent to sense the character's re-entry from the spiritual world before their physicality is reconstructed. Though plane walking may seem borderline god mode, it is only that way because players do not use a step-by-step -step method on performance such which ties into other techniques such as creating the illusion of disappearing. Complete disappearance from battle is completely illegal. In essence, if you disappear from battle, you are essentially forfeited. Disappearing within the battle, however, creates a different context, albeit being unable to be detected, which is god mode, if done through the form of autoing. The only way the act of disappearing is allowed is if it seems like someone disappears, but is well known to be still present. It essentially depends on perception. A character who cannot detect the spirit world may take it that someone disappeared or if someone couldn't see through illusions as one was used to make it seem like someone disappeared, it may take it as though they actually did. Thus, the act of disappearing can't be done in the actual sense like the essence of the mind, body, and soul completely disappearing from existence, because it is literally impossible as energy cannot be created or destroyed, but only change forms. But the act of disappearing can only be done in the means of an expression due to the lack of the opponent's capacity to continue detecting them by physical, mental, or spiritual means. The proper way to achieve the act of disappearing is to create an illusion, however the character is to go about it. The most proficient way a character can perform the act of disappearing is by first performing the feat that will allow them to plane walk, which will automatically make their physical essence disappear. The second, while in the higher awareness from performing the plane walking technique, the player must max his or her spiritual essence to make them become undetectable, which when completely executed, both the plane walking and masking a metaphysical essence will create the sense of the essence of the soul to be undetectable, as well as the physicality of the character, which will complete the act of disappearing. Again, the player hasn't essentially disappeared from existence, or even from the battlefield, but from their opponent's current perception, making the act of disappearing more of an illusion than anything else. These methods are only the how the technique works and why they are possible. Players should always be mindful of the rules that they are fighting under because some of them place limitations on these techniques and some ban them altogether. And that's pretty much the end of the lesson. Uh, of course, stay tuned for more videos, uh, different videos about different things. Um, again, um, you know, in the beginning, when I first started Virtual Warfare, there was a lot of animation, you know, I did a lot of editing and stuff like that, but now as time is going on, um, it feels like there's not a lot of animation I could put into videos anymore. It's, it seems like all the, the lessons or uh, teachings that I want to share uh, you know, resorted to animations, but now most of it is just talking, most of it is just like literature stuff, so it's hard for me to actually put animation into videos when there really is no need for them but uh, i try to make the videos engaging i try to keep it you know um stimulated for the person who's watching uh so again you know stay tuned for season five it's coming up i'm not sure when but uh most likely it's going to be soon uh so if you're watching this uh you will know uh before anyone else that uh season five is coming out um also, I'm trying to get to uh, a thousand subscribers because I think at a thousand subscribers, you unlock some type of 
community thing where like, you get to post like you get to post stuff on YouTube instead of just like making videos. So it'd be awesome if I could just post stuff on YouTube, you know, share little quotes or share little uh, diagrams about what we fight on YouTube rather than making a whole video. You know, it'd be easy for me to do stuff like that. So uh, to help me get to a thousand subscribers, please share the video. You know, I need 600 subscribers. <laughs> <laughs> seems like a lot, but it's, it is a lot, you know, compared to how many people roleplay fight, you know, or how many people care to subscribe to a roleplay fighting uh, YouTube channel. But anyway, uh, yeah, help me with that. You know, I, I'd be really appreciated. Um, so, yeah, so stay tuned for more videos, and I'll see everybody in the future. Deuces.